Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV Heaven's Ward. Alright, there you are. What's up, Artorial? Today, as you may be able to tell, we are doing the story. I've leveled up a little bit since last time. Not too much, though. At the end of our hope. Lord Artorial seems loath to forgo any opportunity to locate the heretic's hiding place. He is the right of it, Mistress Wales. Whatever remains of the heretic's trail will be gone with the next snowfall. We cannot very well leave our friend here. Uh-oh. Rocket League. I will see him to Falcon's Nest and gather reinforcements. In the meantime, I would have you search the area to the north of the camp for signs of the attack. Should you pick up the heretic's tail, do not wait for me. Follow it back to their lair forthwith, being sure to leave me some clear footprints. I realize that this plan may place you in considerable danger, but I see no alternative. You must die for the good of House Dur Dur Durandire. Fortan. Rest assured, we'll not be far behind. And Ricky, thank you. The hell is your last name? I don't even remember. That might be a problem. Oh well. Okay. So that away. Oh, I couldn't see the arrow on the end of my compass. Whoa. I've not... Oh, can't... Just straight up can't go in that lake? I guess so. Pond. Whatever the hell it is. It's been a little bit since I've recorded Final Fantasy last time. I've actually recorded a Dark Knight episode that I haven't gotten around to editing. I've been busy doing stuff. And things. And my Dark Knight's actually level 45, almost. My machinists and my astrology need to catch up. They're like 40. Fresh footprints. Ooh, it's a battle. Let's do this. I love battle quests. It'll be the same sort of thing that we saw in that first Dark Knight episode, or the Machinist episode, or the Astrologian episode. Tracks continue to the north. And it suddenly got dark. Intriguing. I know in like dungeons and stuff, the time of the Eorzea's time does reflect whether it's day or night here. I wonder if this is just set to look like this. More suspicious footprints. Continue to the north. Oh, this is uncharted territory for us, too. I was gonna say, I wonder where we're being led to. We could be going anywhere. Oh no. Actually, since we could literally be going anywhere, I'm gonna put on Hutan before I get jumped. Huh. I swear to god I've never done this sword before. Yeah, maybe I should save that. This guy. Like, rip my connection. Rip that guy. Do you wish to die, Spinal Therapy? Because that can be arranged. Oh, I don't have my damage put on. I'm bad. Actually, let's put uh, Kiss the Wasp on. the hell back here? What the hell are you doing? That's not the thing I should be using. It's just me, it doesn't seem like he's not really taking any damage. Oh my god, this is why kiting as a melee DPS sucks, in case you're wondering. Back here. I will kill you. Oh, 
And now you're dead. The hell are you? Oh, you're an ice bomb. Intriguing. But, ultimately unimportant. Okay, where the hell am I going now? I ran, like, super far off track. I guess maybe I was supposed to just follow him and not murder him, but this place looks creepy. Just take a second to look around here. That's probably the hiding place. If I had to guess. What's that? Oh, it's just a rock. Okay. We sure went out to the boonies, haven't we? My voice is doing weird things. <clears throat> is my voice but Yeah, it's better. Cool. Not getting sick, but something in my throat says, No, nah, don't talk right now. But clearing my throat has made it go away, and we are all good. Okay, you left me alone. Is this not the place? Maybe I shouldn't have killed that guy. Maybe that would have been what? Hello? Anything in here? Hello? Let's re-up. Yep. Here we go. Okay. Since we're gonna be fighting on... I should kill you guys. Oh no. You're the healer. But since we've got a bunch of people to worry about... Doton might help us out a little bit. It's just a ground debuff. So it does. It's damaging anyone who's standing on it. And it wore off. Whatever did its job. And now you're dead. Now it's your turn. It's almost not worth using my slashing with this debuff. Because I annihilate them so fast. Now what the hell is this? That's weird. Is that Bahamut? Right here? Is that Bahamut? What's that then? Shiva? Tree. Some of the architecture in the Heaven's Ward stuff is really interesting. Duty complete. That was easy. No boss fight. A little bit sad about that. I suppose if you were a caster, that'd be a little bit harder to room because you can get your cast times interrupted by getting smacked in the face. But probably not too bad. Spam fire tube or something. Hello, Ice Heart. Looking for me, I presume. Ah, the child who glimpsed the truth. No, it cannot be. She cameth unto me, as didst thou, alike in gifts, yet set upon different paths. He speaks true, warrior of light. Like you, I have been blessed with the echo. The visions terrified me at first. They came without warning. I wondered what I had done to deserve them. But I had no time to ponder such things, once the calamity came. The land turned against us, and in a matter of hours, Falcon's Nest was buried under ten fulms of ice and snow. We had no choice but to flee for Ishgard. We came to the wall, and while we searched for a way through, there was an avalanche. And then I was alone. 
So I set forth for Dravania. I knew full well what might happen where I found. But I could not survive on my own. I was found, of course. And not by a mere dragon, but by the great worm Hraesvalgar. And it was then that I knew why I had been given this gift. For with it I heard his voice and saw the truth through his eyes. I was chosen to deliver this revelation to the people. To bring dragon and man together as they once were and should ever be. It wasn't supposed to be like that. You have to believe me. It was... Beyond my control. Children taught to fear the skies. Who saw their loved ones slaughtered. Yet the Dravanians, though they know where the fault truly lies, fell upon them with such fury. Men die, and their children forget. But we are everlasting. To us, then is as now. Thou canst not comprehend the violation, the outrage, the fury. I will make this bright. I am neither a saint nor a savior, just another sinner. Yet I will not forsake this cause. I cannot. I will see this cycle broken and peace restored. I... We can do naught else, for we are now as one. Interesting. Don't really know what to say about that. Kind of taking it in right now. It's been a while since I went through the Ish, or not the Ishgard, the uh, Kurthis part of the story in of Realm Reborn. I don't exactly remember if they ever went into detail about what happened between the dragons and man way back when. Mr. Wheels. Praise Halone, you are alive. We came as swiftly as we could, but I see we are too late. Now yeah, you totally weren't just hiding in the mountains watching me kill everybody. So they were lurking in the cellar of this farmhouse. It is a pity Lady Iceheart escaped, but we must not let that detract from your accomplishment. We have them on the run. You have dealt our flows a telling battle this eve, my friend, and I shall see that your efforts are recognized. I have a flying mount now. And Iceheart said we at the end. I wonder if she was talking about us, or if she was talking about the dragons. Probably need to go back and watch. Hello, Griffin. Watch to see her make the final call on that. Establishing an outpost in so remote a location could not have been easy, tenacious devils. And that's a story quest in the bag for us. Let's take another. More materia. Lord Artrail would rather not linger without cause. The knights have matters here and well in the hand. Let us return to Falcon's Nest and share our discoveries with Sir Redwold. Come. After tracking heretics across malms of ice and snow, I would say you are due a few hours rest next to a warm fire. I would say that too. Hello, Dragoon friend. You keep on doing your Dragoon thing. Okay, uh, can I just TP back to... It looks like I can. To Falcon's Nest! Oh, hello. 
That guy's got, um... Odin's horse, whatever his name is. I don't remember what it is. It's on the tip of my tongue. Uh, something Norsey. I, if I ever get a, a horse from that region, I'm just gonna call it Norse. <laughs> My horse is Norse. Literally. Hold our trail, Mr. Wills. Full glad am I to see you both hale and healthy. What news? You mean to say you hunted the heretics down on your own and slew them before reinforcements could arrive? By the fury! I believe we have made great strides towards purging these lands of heretics. And I mean to say as much when I deliver my report to my father and the Holy See. As will I, Lord Artrael. May it serve to remind our superiors what houses Durin Dyer and Fort Tom could achieve through continued cooperation. Indeed. I trust you and your knights are content to handle the rest. We most certainly are, my lord. During your short time with us, you and Mistress Wills have accomplished far more than I thought possible. I cannot in good conscience impose upon you any longer. Pray, return to Ishgard with my thanks. As you wish, Sir Redwolf. We thank you for your hospitality. It's the weirdest bow I've ever seen, bro. Weird me out when I learn how to do that too. Now, uh, back to foundation. I want to get my flying mount. That's all I want to do. They've been locked in dungeon too. There are people like clearing the stuff that just came out this week or last week or whatever. I haven't even done the first dungeon. Because, you know, that's how I roll. But I knew what I was getting into and I decided to record the story. That's fine with me. I kind of like being behind on content because that means there's always something to do. Where the hell? We're going to do this every single time, aren't we? Uh, it's probably not in Foundation. Uh, but I like being behind in content because it means that there's always something else to do. You never just do everything. You're like, well, that's cool. And uh, as you may know me well, depending on how long you've been following this channel and whether or not you chat with me, uh, do not like ending things. So the closer I get to the ending, the less likely... How the hell do I get to the place? There it is. Most likely I am to finish it. Just because... I don't know. Weird. So yeah. Being behind on content serves me just fine. And I've almost gotten to the point where I can remember Warehouse for Toms is. Right away anyway. It's so weird that House for Toms is a separate zone. I wonder why. Frame rate's way better though. Oh my god. There you are, Toriel. Mistress Wills, I would speak pomp, plain. From the first, I question your motives and your competence. Unjustly, I now realize. Rumors have a way of growing more fantastic as they spread, and quite frankly, those surrounding you beggar belief. But Horschfont swore that all those stories were true. He championed your cause and begged Father to grant you patronage. And he duly listened, because for all his wisdom, he's never been able to say no to my dear half-brother, the legacy of my father's soul and discretion. Mother hated him, of course. Even on her deathbed, she refused to acknowledge him. Then, to be honest, she was not alone in her feelings. That is not the worst of it. At Camp Riversmeet, when we came upon the wounded knight, I knew immediately that one of us would pursue the heretics alone. An onerous task, fraught with danger. And there you were, the savior of Eorzea and honored guest of House Fortoms, my new comrade-in-arms. 
Posh Fawns, the dear friend. Everything in here is too French for me. I told myself I w it would be a test, but part of me, part of me hoped that you would fail. Because I hate you so much. Yet you accepted the task without a word of protest, nor any sign of fear. And you duly tracked the enemy down, faced him alone, and lived to tell the tale. Plainly, Horsfawn had the right of it all along. Then I doubted your strength and bespeaks mine own weakness. But I will not doubt you again, Mr. Swills. I'll let you have my word. Oh. Why are my sandals red? I just realized that. You guys see that? Supposed to, they're supposed to be purple. Uh, intelligence, I guess. I thought my shoes were purple. What, what's happening? Why are they not purple? Like, seriously, why are they not purple? Why are they red? What? How long have they been red for? It's supposed to be purple. There we go. Back to the way they should be. Anywho. Yeah, we got plenty of time. Divine Intervention. What is this? Black Chocobo Whistle. Is this the legendary flying mount? I think it is. Aether Compass it is. Ah, uh, Mr. Wheels. My lord, the Count did much desires to speak with you regarding your time with Lord Artrail and Lord Evan Malane. If you would remain here for a moment. Run against the flying mount. Nah. Let's go. I'll start doing that now. The hero returns. I cannot thank you enough for saving young Emanolane's life. Aye, aye, he told me everything. Emanolane. Emanolane. I'll remember that at some point. I've also received letters from both House Zemile and Durandere praising your conduct and that of House Fortong. You've won us much honor, my friend. My lord! What is it? Speak. Pray forgive the intrusion, my lord, but I, I bring grave tidings. Master Alfano and Mistress Tataru have been detained on suspicion of fermenting heresy. The shit. What? Explain. They... Uh, they were observed entering a tavern in the lower levels on some half dozen occasions. There, it is claimed, they made a number of inquiries. Inquiries which brought them into contact with certain, um, elements. It was this which prompted a Knight of the Heavens War to demand that they be questioned. Sir Grino, my lord. Heavens Ward. Heavens Ward. I wonder if those guys will be important, in that the title of this expansion was just a misnomer by combining them into one word. Sir Grino is a brute. An exceedingly accomplished brute, but a brute nonetheless. Alas, he is also a son of House Zemile. How quickly we forget the petty nature of men. I'd wager your friends are no more than pawns in another of my countrymen's games. Such is the way of things between the high houses. I just realized he's got a unicorn on his breast. That's baller shit. Though you've won the hearts and minds of my countrymen, there are those who would never be swayed. Men who will dismiss your efforts and resent your successes even as we celebrate them. Tis like one that such member of House Zemile is manipulating Sir Grineau, for he's not a man to dabble in politics of his own violation. Volition. God damn it. He may genuinely believe your friends to be guilty, though I am quite certain his masters know better. Yet the truth will avail us not if we cannot prove their innocence. You do well to speak with Sir Emmerich on the congregation of our Knights Most Heavenly. we will know more of these charges. Alright, let's go. Back to old lower frame rate. Don't know if you can see that in the recording, but the frame rate jumps from like 20 to 30 range out here to like 60 in that room. It's buttery smooth, and sadly my 
second laptop that I use for recording in, in general, playing video games, because it's my only personal computer, is not amazing enough to play this game at, like, max settings at 60. I can play at, like, high-ish settings. Whoops. Uh, at, like, 30 frames. Not consistent. It's really sad. And not sad because my computer sucks. I think it's pretty decent. It's a bit old, though. Even by laptop standards. Where the hell is the thing to go to the thing to do the thing? What's down here? This does not help me. It's just sad that I can't play at max settings, and I want to. I'd say, if you want a, like an estimate of how good my the PC version looks on my settings compared to the PS4 version, I'd say it's about the same. Maybe a little bit sharper on P or PC. Yeah, something like that. My nose is all stuffy now. I don't know why. It just got more and more stuffy during that cutscene. I wanted to like do the sniffle thing, but I'm trying not to. For the I could cut it out, but I know I'll forget, so I'm just gonna try really hard not to need to cut it out. I sure hope I remember to cut out that clearing of the throat earlier in the episode. All the way over there, man. Alright, well, we're sprinting. Did anyone see what... Anyone remember what we get for the next Dark Knight quest? Actually, this is going up before that Dark Knight episode, so maybe I shouldn't look at it and find out. No oh, spoilers, man. I wanted to click it though. I wanted to know what it is. I think actually I think I know what the ability is. I'm, in fact I'm almost hundred percent sure I know what the ability is. So there's that. Hope I'm going the right way. Uh eh, close enough. Hopefully, maybe. No? Not the right way at all. Damn it. Do 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 do. Gotta go up here, I think. Place is confusing. Damn you, architecture. Yeah, we got it. If you notice my compulsive opening of the map and closing it just to check, I do the same thing in every game. As you may notice if you watch Castlevania's Let's Play of Symphony of the Night. Brought to you every day, asterisk. Not really every day. Hello, Emmerich. How's it going, bro? It's been too long, Reki. Would that this visit came under happier circumstances. You are come to plead for Master Alphano, Mistress Tataru, I take it. Word of the detainment reached us while I was delivering my report on the Vanu Primal. Truly, I know not what is more ludicrous these charges about flying feathered whale. That Sir Grinnell's accusations are baseless, I have no doubt. Refuting them will be difficult, however, as he is a knight of the Heaven's Ward. I speak of the personal guard of the Archbishop, the twelve finest knights in all of Ishgard, sworn to serve his eminence alone. Suffice it to say, their testimony is unimpeachable, and I have not the authority to challenge their actions. After all the scions have done, routing the heretics and defeating Shiva, helping us defend the Steps of Faith and drive back the Dravanian Horde, after proving themselves true allies on countless occasions, is there not we can do? I fear, but there is one. There is but one path to us. We must demand a trial by combat. But of course, yes. If we just killed them all, then they can't throw us under the bus. In a trial by combat sanctioned by the Inquisition, the victor's claim is judged true regardless of the petitioner's standing. Under Guardian law, a trial by combat pits the accuser against the accused. In this instance, Master Alphano and Mistress Tataru be expected to face Sir Grineau in a second of his choosing. Another knight of the Heaven's Ward, most like. That seems like a problem, since last time I saw Tataru try to fight, she got abandoned by her carbuncle. Two of them? By the theory, that can hardly be considered fair. Master Alphano's magical talents will not have gone unnoticed, meaning that he'll have no choice but to participate. 
Mistress Tataru, on the other hand, is quite obviously bereft of martial skill and should be afforded the right to name a champion to fight in her stead. I guess that's me. Lest you doubt, I am ready to willing to serve in this capacity, as I am sure is Lord Hothorn. But all here present know that you are the most accomplished warrior among us, and mayhap in the realm at large. Yeah. No, on no humbleness at all. Just plain honesty. Then it is settled. I will visit Master Alphano at once and inform him of our intentions. Reki, meet me at the tribunal when you have made ready. Till then, my friend. Face it. We saw Emmerich at the start of this Let's Play, if I remember right. He was an emissary from Ishgard to the main Eorzean continent area place thing. And uh, he's been nice to us. He was the one sent out to try and unite the four kingdoms once again. He's cool, dude. If a bit pompous sometimes. Nah, he, he's alright. I like his gear, though. I'm gonna try and get that. It kind of looks like paladin gear, but I don't know if you can actually get it or not. There's lots of characters in this game that have gear that you just can't get. Like, I would have liked to get Alpha Node's gear, but can't get it. Maybe it, it'll be a veteran reward at some point. Listen carefully, Reki. When the trial begins, the petitioner will be asked to restate his charges and the accused invited to respond. Then, in accordance with the law, they will be asked to restate their request for a trial by combat. Once the High Educator acknowledges Mistress Tatari's right to name a champion, that is when you must make your entrance. Oh, I cannot wait to see the look on Sir Grano's face when he sees his true opponent. Toil will be priceless. More seriously, should you begin to lose heart, look to me in the stands, and I shall cheer so loud you will wonder how you ever could have contrived to doubt yourself. Row, row! Fight the power. Now, are you ready? Oh man, I hope. If I'd look at him in the stands, he'd be like, Yeah, and I'll just be like, You're pretty good. Shh. It was a bad reference. We are gathered here today under the watchful gaze of the Fury to ascertain the guilt of two souls in a trial by combat. Petitioners, step forward. Sir Grino, for the benefit of all here present, I would ask you to repeat the charges which you have leveled against this man and this woman. I, Sir Grino de Zemile, brother of the Heaven's Ward, did bear witness to these two foreigners consorting with heretics. Let the accused step forward. Alfino Leveya, Tataru Taru, you have heard the charges leveled against you. Will you take up arms to refute Sir Grino's claim and thereby prove your innocence in the eyes of gods and men? I, Alfino Leveya, am innocent of this charge and claim my right to trial by combat. I, Tataru Taru, am innocent of this charge. But. I am no warrior and cannot fight. So, I claim the right to name a champion. To the old and the infirm, the young and the weak, this right we allow. Very well. Who will stand for this woman? Just as I was beginning to doubt the efficacy of the Ishgardian justice system. Come, my friend. Let us put an end to this mama's farce. Use this guy 
out the eye patch. Friggin' edge lord. It's a dark night too. Oh, so we're just gonna drop Tataru in the. Oh, Haloni, render unto us your judgment. Raise up the righteous and cast down the wicked. Okay, he's a warrior. That's not a thing you see in Nishgard very much. The axe isn't something you see in Nishgard very much either. No, I see Thero is on. All right, loser. Oh, whoops, wrong one. We're gonna rip. Well, I'm gonna blow my Kasatsu. Uh, on getting hoot on up. I have my pride. Gosh, put dots on. I'm bad. I'm forgetting everything. How do you fight? How do you play this game? I may have failed you, Tataru. But you will never go forgotten. I need to start using a shuriken more. I keep forgetting. Don't fall off, Dot. That's how we do it. Here. Whoa. Come on down there. I've got you now. No, I'd be dead now. What the shit? Probably gonna wanna kill those. Uh oh god. Now that I can stand behind this guy, I can give him a little vulnerability up. How about that? That'll just uh, decrease his resistance in general. Which is good for me, so I can do more damage. Nope. Wow. Hopno has like a crap ton. What the hell is this? Crap ton of aggro on the guy. He's just not aggro on me at all. And they're like, hey, it's almost up. Why do that? Also, he's dead, so why do that? Loser. Can I kill them now? I don't want them to live. You didn't do anything, Dadaru. Maybe you should have read that. The Fury has spoken! Afno Levier, Tataru Taru, you are hereby acquitted of all charges. Blessed are we who receive her wisdom and see justice wrought by her divine hand. Petitioners accused, go forth in peace. Delivered from an untimely demise yet again. My thanks, as always. So look how cool that gear is, I want it. Hopefully the quest ends soon so I can get my flying mount. And I'll do all the flying mount stuff off screen. Since we know that you have to get a bunch of air currents and stuff. By the fury, what a splendid victory! To see how you strove in the face of adversary adversity. Two brave young souls bound together by the pulsant bonds of manly camaraderie. Why, it stirred me to the very depths of my soul. Having been treated to such a rousing spectacle, it seems only right that I present you with a humble token of mine admiration. Pray, receive of me this chocobo whistle. It's just a kazoo. It's just like a two dollar dollar store kazoo. With it, you may summon a black chocobo, fully trained and ready to fly. Sounds great to me. Is that my chocobo? Yo. No, that's a... Courier Chocobo. 
I want it to have that hat. I want that hat, dude. Magnificent, is she not? Strong yet sleek, elegant yet eager. Let's say, Yureki, will you take her for your steed? Yeah, the Chocobo's not going to be very happy about this. Lord Horsfall, Chocobos are prohibited in the supreme sacred tribunal of Holonic Inquisitory Doctrine. Your steed must remain outside. Get out of here, Chocobo. You should know better. Choco, Choco. Shut up. Aether currents are now accessible. You've obtained a black chocobo. When riding this mount, you have the ability to fly, provided certain conditions have been met. To fly in a given region, you must first find and attune to all the local aether currents. In order to attune to some earthy currents, you will need to complete certain quests. However, most can be discovered by exploration. To aid you in this endeavor, you've also obtained an aether compass, which will provide you with both the bearing and the distance the nearest aether current upon use. Should you lose his compass, you may speak with Gibrion at the Forgotten Knight to obtain another. To review your progress, select Travel from the main menu, followed by Aether Currents. What's the next quest? Disclosure. Lord Horsfont thinks you could do with a well-deserved rest. And that is a picture of the Holy See, so I am interested in what this rest entails. But... On my own, I shall go find some of the Aether Currents, as many of them as I can get without doing any story quests, because I think there's a couple that you need story quests to get, but I could be wrong. Yeah, well, anyway, thank you for watching, everybody. I will see you all next time. Bye!